you again. Look who's here. Celebration of Halloween. We're gonna have a big carnival with rides and games. The work. Thanks, Mars. Now, who wants to work on the how uh, how's the horse? Me! Me! Granny, how about you? Would you like to work on the house the horse? You better. Thanks, Granny. How about BJ? BJ, you can help Granny. The man! The man! The ugly man! That's a yes, BJ. Nothing like a good crazy person. Still with me? You better be watching your mouth. B Big Marge, they never ever told you that your initials stand for a certain bodily function? I believe it's everybody's God-given right to express themselves however they want to. My mother just picked a more peculiar way to express her affection for me by naming me Big Marge Huda Tuda. <laughs> I see! Support! Oh, we know, BJ! While we're here, everybody woke up at the new chandelier. Isn't it gorgeous? You asked for, Doctor. Thank you, Nurse Jamie, and that's Dr. John to you. All right, well, goodbye, Dr. John, to you. It's not funny, Nurse Jamie. I thought it was. <laughs> Granny's file. Hello, I am Dr. John. Can we talk? It's not. You all know Granny, but now it's time to take a closer look. To be a kindly old grandmother who baked cookies, so that kind of thing. But then one day something terrible happened. She burned herself on the oven and found her head hard on the countertop. She was taken to the emergency room. The doctors had no choice but to give her an emergency brain transplant. This would not have been a problem if Granny had received the correct brain. But she didn't. Instead of the brain of the elderly woman that she was supposed to receive, she received the brain of this man. The brain of a serial murderer. She returned from the hospital with the same day that her entire family was murdered. <laughs> became part of the Adopt-a-Grandparent program. On the day she arrived, the entire family that had adopted her was murdered. <coughs> ...was brought back here. Then her niece, twice removed, returned from a year-long trip to England and called to claim Granny. On the day she arrived, Five people were murdered in the house, and her niece was never found. Granny, why? Coincidence? I don't think so. I think that the serial murder's brain took over Granny's body and forced her to kill all those people. And tomorrow, I intend to take my findings to the police and let them deal with the matter.
Especially ghost people die. I wonder who's doing it. Ask the doctor. That's Dr. John to you. Ask Dr. John to you. That's not funny, BJ. I thought it was. Boy, is she weird. Mark my words. You'll know when little Joe and Haas are here. Dr. Doctor, doctor, 